Howdy everyone. I'm back out here on the river again. I came out here today planning on fishing for smallmouth, which I have been doing the past few hours, catching quite a few of those, but I happened to paddle upon a school of crappie, which is now right up here ahead of me. So we're gonna try to catch some of those. Now I didn't really have any crappie gear with me, so we're gonna try to improvise with some bass gear. So I've tied on one of these one-aught mosquito hooks onto my spinning rod. And what we're gonna do is try to rig up somewhat of an ultralight wacky worm setup. So luckily my little players here has the scissors on it. So what I'm gonna do is cut it in half this way. And then I'm gonna try to cut it in half lengthwise. I just gotta get that little heat shrink band off of there. Yeah, it's probably not going to be pretty doing this with my little uh, player's <laughs> scissor, but we'll see if it'll actually work to catch some fish. Yeah, those things are not easy to cut in half that way. They're kind of slippery. So that's what I ended up with. Got just a little quarter of a piece of wacky worm. So I'm going to rig that up on my hook just like you normally would. Wacky rigging a Senko. And we'll stand up and see if these crappie are still up here. I don't see any at the moment, but they were just right off of these weeds up here ahead of me. Yeah, that little piece of worm is just barely sinking, which should be about perfect. Look at that, instantly. Crappie. <laughs> you know, I've always thought that they should actually make some miniature wacky worms because I've got so many crappie fishing bass with the wacky worm. I think if they made a smaller version of that, like what we've got here, it'd be a pretty effective crappie lure. All right, well, they're still up there. Oh yeah, I think I saw a nice one swim by right up there ahead of me. See that miniature wacky worm actually sinks quite a bit slower than the real thing, the full size one. I should say. That hook that I'm running with it is quite a bit lighter than the one aught that I'd normally use running a wacky worm setup though. Hey, and there's another one. Crappie number two on the ultralight wacky worm. Man, that's awesome. I bet we're just gonna pick them off here, just about every cast. I'd have to dig around and see if I got a stringer with me. These are good eating size crappie too. I know there's some bigger ones in this school and those are the ones that I'm kind of hoping to find. But I was throwing my full size wacky worm at them and I was just missing them pretty much every time that they'd hit it. Which is why I put on my thinking cap and <laughs> came up with this plan. There's another one. That'd be about a perfect size eater fish right there. Nice. Hammering them <laughs> with that little piece of yum dinger. Yeah, 
Yeah, as much as I want to just go catch some more bass, this is a lot of fun too, just <laughs> sitting here catching crappie pretty much every cast. So I might have to sit here for a little bit and pick through the school, see if I can't find one of the real big ones. Water is a little bit murky out here right now, which might actually help conceal myself from those crappie. Is that a crappie? That might be a rock bass. Yeah, it's a rock bass. Big old rock bass though. Jeez, look at that thing. Almost looks like a cross between a crappie and a smallie, doesn't it? Where's those crappie? We'll toss it up that way. I know they're up here in front of me somewhere. I'm not quite sure. They're kind of roaming around the weeds up here. But if I throw that piece of worm into the school of them, I mean, I'm pretty much guaranteed to catch one. Nothing can say no to the wacky worm. There's one. Is that a crappie? Yep. Yeah. That's a crappie. What is that for now? I don't know. I caught two or three before I put my hat cam on too. I figured this was just too much fun to sit out here and not share it with you guys. I just cannot believe how effective that thing is. Look how slow it sinks. And still got some nice twitching action like a full-size wacky worm too. It's kind of why I split it in half lengthwise as well. If I just cut the worm in half and left it the full thickness, I don't think it would flop quite as well as it does. Cut in half, oh, there's a big one right in front of me. I think I spooked him off though. He went that away. There's something. Is that a crappie? No, I think that's another rock bass. Jeez, that is a tank rock bass though. I mean, I know most people consider these as trash fish, but they're still fun to catch. I don't mind getting them. I would have preferred a big crappie, but Man, that is just a heavy feeling fish. <laughs> nice thick belly on him. All right, off you go. I think the crappie went that way. Moved back in shallow on me a little bit. If I sit down for five, 10 minutes, they all kind of gather up into the weeds right in front of me. But once I start moving around a little bit, they get spooked out of there. Just fishing that thing like a regular old wacky worm. Maybe giving it a little bit longer pauses because I think just barely sinks, but that's really a good thing because it keeps it in that strike zone for longer. There's one. Is that another rock bass? I don't know, maybe the crappie moved on and the rock bass have moved in. <laughs> Ow. 
got me with the spine there. Come here. All right, you guys, I got a few crappie to bite that miniature wacky worm set up. I think the school moved on me. I tried finding them for about 15 minutes without much luck. The water's a little bit murky out here, so I think that's gonna do it for the crappie fishing. I'm going back to bass fishing the last 20, 30 minutes I get out here tonight. It's kind of a fun little flurry of crappie action though. I'm gonna have to look around online and see if anybody actually makes, I don't know, a three inch Senko maybe. Because <laughs> that seems to be pretty effective for crappie. Yeah, fun little flurry of action there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.